parenting is, uh, is an educational exercise. Parenting is, uh, is a skill, is an art. A lot of families or prospective parents, they, uh, uh, they take classes on how to parent. Parenting means, you know, how to, be, to become a more qualified parent, a better parent. Uh, the parenting has changed over centuries, over generations, over time. The way our parents raised us is different from the way we are raising our kids. Even though there is a lot of residue from the way our parents taught us, we are still being influenced by the way we, we were taught and we were raised. So we, we are transmitting that to the next generation, sometimes unconsciously. But the, the Islamic way or the understanding, the best understanding, I can share with you one good, one good example by a companion, Ali ibn Abi Talib, who gave us a, a small advice on how to parent our kids differently from the way we were parenting. He said, teach your kids and prepare your kids for their time. For their time. Because they were created not for your time, for their time. So it, it should be a futuristic education. I will start with um, the uh, two course. Next slide. One is a famous hadith. All of you are shepherds, and each of you is responsible for his flock. It's a very a good metaphor of how the Prophet وسلم, described our responsibility, our collective responsibility, our collaborative work as parents. It is not just the job, the sole job of the mother or the father or even the family. It is the responsibility of the school, of the community, of the Islamic center, of the masjid, of the relatives, of the siblings, like the uh, African uh, proverb says, it takes a whole village to raise one child. So the whole child, the, the, the education of a child involves more than one person. But the most Im important responsibility falls on the shoulders of the father and the mother. Now, yes, we are all responsible. We are all kullukum ra'in. All of you are shepherds. Kullukum ra'in. And each one of you is responsible for his fault. So there is a responsibility towards this person we are responsible over in this life and also in the afterlife, in the hereafter. The second, the second uh, uh, principle that drives this uh, presentation is a, fame, a quote <coughs> from Imam Yasin rahimahullah which says the greatest focus of da'wah is preparing generations of our brothers and sisters. The focus, or the greatest focus of da'wah is preparing generations of our brothers and sisters. Brothers and, sister, and sisters, in quotes, is, in, is a reference to a hadith. A very good hadith. It's a, really, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hadith that really refreshes our iman. One time, Rasulullah was with the companions, with the Sahaba. And like this, he said to them, I wish I meet my brothers. The Sahaba were astonished, surprised. They asked, are we not your uh, brothers? He said, no, you are my companions. You are my companions, but my brothers are those who, are, will, who will be coming after me who will believe in me, even though they have never seen me. So we are the brothers of Rasulullah We are the brothers and sisters of Rasulullah So uh, Imam Yaseen said that da'wah, da'wah, the, the focus of da'wah, so that we can make the connection between parenting and da'wah. Parenting is a da'wah. It is the preparation of the future generations of, our of the brothers of Rasulullah 
the sister of Rasulullah. So, uh, when, when today the Imam was reciting from Surah Luqman uh, in Surah in Surah Al Isha, he uh, he recited the verses from Surah Luqman in which Luqman <coughs> uh, gave the, the advice to his son. Very beautiful. It's full. It's it's Islamic parenting is there. The whole talk. The, everything you like to see and how to raise a Muslim is there. First, don't be a mushrik. Don't even shirk is the worst injustice. Dhulmun Azim. Be kind to your parents. Second advice. Third advice. Uh, behavior. Uh, there is one uh, before behavior. The third advice was about about the, uh, the uh, looking at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thinking about how Allah Ta'ala created everything, the universe. Be, be intellectual. Be very reflective. And then behavior, attitudes. Don't be arrogant. Don't walk arrogantly. Speak gently. So parenting and the issue, the issues of parenting, we are not here to, to give you the solutions. What we are here to do is to give you some ideas for discussion. Some questions, maybe we can answer some. Because when it comes to parenting, nobody is perfect. What we can do is better is to share our experiences. What works best? What is the best practice in parenting? So the, all the experts, next slide, the experts in, uh, in, in the field of education, they said that there are universal four styles of parenting. There are four, four, four styles. And these four styles are not exclusive. Meaning that maybe you'll have one, you have some of it, of the number one and some of number two. Maybe some of number one and some, some of number four. But these are the universal parenting styles. The first one is parents who are authoritarian. The authoritarian style is parenting by the rules. Okay, you tell the kid, okay, these are the rules. You have to follow them. If you don't follow the rules, you break them, you'll be punished. Okay, does this uh, sound familiar? A lot. Okay, spanking. You get a lot of spanking if you, if you break the rule. There, are, there is a, a, a range of authoritarian. Some of it is just stubbornness. The parent is very stubborn. Okay, does not uh, expect no from the from the child. But some some authoritarian uh, parenting is abusive, meaning that there's physical abuse, there is uh, a, a emotional abuse, social abuse. It sometimes goes into domestic violence, and it can lead to trauma in the child. That's contrary to the human na nature, contrary to the Islamic teachings. The second style is the authoritative. Author the, it comes from the authority, the word authority. Authoritative is that, yes, there are rules in the, in the, in the house, okay? You tidy up your room, okay? Don't m leave the mess behind you. Do your homework. Uh, don't hit your sister. Okay, if next time you hit your sister, you'll be, you'll be. But there is also, there is a flexibility in the rules and some exceptions. Okay? You will become flexible. You don't, you are not given, uh, you are not just making it my way or the highway. You are given some leeway. And there will be also some rewards. Not just punishments, but, the, but some rewards. But it does not involve corporal punishment. It should not involve physical abuse. The you are the authority, mom and dad, they are listened to in the house. Their, their, their voice, their word is, uh, is, is, the, is uh, the dominant one. And the children may violate the rules, but there will be consequences, good uh, cons consequences like rewards for good behavior and uh, other consequences for uh, bad behavior. The third one is the permissive. 
the permissive or laissez faire. What is the permissive? It is when you, as a parent, you let your child do whatever he or she likes. They can come, uh, come late at uh, night, 9 o'clock, p.m., 9, you don't. They are peace-loving parents. They, they, don't, they don't want any problems. They, are, they don't want to, to get involved in any issues, so they give all the freedoms to their children. And there, is, there are no rules, okay? The kids make their own rules, and just the parents, they are just there to provide for them, and they, there are no consequences for breaking the rules. Um, there are many reasons why some parents do that. The fourth one is the uninvolved. The parents are not involved in the lives of their children. They neglect their children. You know, especially in society, there is a large number of parents who are neglectful of their, of their, of their kids. Either they, they vanish from their lives, or they are uh, not involved in their daily lives. So they, the kids will suffer emotionally, physically, and uh, uh, academically because there is no, no care.